You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Robinson versus Long. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Hey. Ms. Robinson, you're back in court today because you say your mother, Ms. Harms, has continued to commit paternity fraud. She's now claiming her ex-boyfriend, Mr. Long, is your biological father, but you believe she's lying. Yes. Ms. Harms, you say your daughter's suit has no merit, and today you will prove Mr. Long is her father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Long is here, but like you, Ms. Robinson has strong doubts about your paternity. We'll meet in a few moments, but first, let's take a look at your previous court appearance. I hope he is my daddy. I really do. Because I really need a dad. I really, really do. I've always told her who her dad was. It's not Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore, you are not her father. Oh, mm. my God. <laughs> who is my daddy? Well, I can tell you, he ain't your dad. But no, I'm lying. <sighs> <laughs> so let's go get the other one and come right back here and, and do this again. I'll tell you. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Long into the courtroom? Sure. Right. Mr. Long, watch your step. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Long. Ms. Robinson, I want to start with you. Why do you believe your mother has committed paternity fraud? Um, Your Honor, I feel that my mother has been committing paternity fraud my whole life. Um, I've never got a straight answer on who my father is. It was uh, one or two guys, two or three guys, you know, no certain name. I'm too old for this. Excuse me, Your Honor, that's a lie. So I've, today, always, I've always told you who her father was. No, you and haven't. I've always, and I, ne I never kept any secrets from you. Mom, you never told me who my father was. My mom kept secrets. You gave I, me names of who no, could be I've my father. No, I've always told you from birth, sweetheart, that, who your no, dad you did was. not, Mom. Your Honor, she refuses to believe me, as like she did with Mr. Moore previously. And so, Ms. Harms, you said you told her from the beginning. Yes, yes, Who her father is. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, and who is that person? Mr. Mr. Long, Your Honor. Why would she not want to believe you if she, she's looking for her father? I don't know why she wouldn't believe me. Because but she lies a lot. I know I have not lied. Because and I'm 36 like years said, old and nobody really me. gave me a excuse name of who me. my father Your Honor, is. She said I lied last time. You and did. I was proven to be right. That was just right. luck that no, he wasn't, wasn't my luck. father. It was it that wasn't was luck. luck. It wasn't luck. It was luck. It wasn't luck. Yes, it was. You can't just look at a person because that you got guy's gray hair and assume that's your father. It doesn't have to do with big you know, guys and gray hair. He always told me well, he was I'm my here father. Today to he prove. was your boyfriend. Well, I'm gonna make you happy today because you're on. I'm here today. Good, because guess to what? Prove if you don't make me Long happy today, I have nothing else to say to you. Ms. Robinson, I would like you to take a moment and just walk your mother through and talk to her about how difficult it's been not knowing who your father is and, more importantly, having to go through various men and find out that they're not. Yeah, the father. journey has and been you, very hard. Excuse me. Let her speak, Ms. Harms, and then okay. I will let you speak. Um, me in school, doing sports, basketball, softball, uh, volleyball, never nobody showing up to my games, sitting there, all my friends really? got parents there, I have nobody. I had a baby at 18 and one at 20. His, it has not been a day that I have not been there for my children, a thousand percent, not a hundred. And I know who their fathers is because I wasn't promiscuous. And nobody could talk me out of my panties. I was oh, with what? those. Excuse that's me. It. I'm not going to sit so there and let I, her like say I that said, about me. I'm not going to get easy like that. What do you mean, talk you me out of my easy, panties? But you let people talk. You don't act like you weren't person. out there doing wrong yourself. I never did wrong. Okay. <laughs> I, I needed a father. When okay, you can were I speak? Men, no, you you want, you're listening now. You're on listening Me and you station. didn't have a good relationship. It would have been times where I wouldn't have went in my room and said, I hate my mom. I wish she wasn't here. I can't stand her. If I had a father to run to, I could have got over that. But instead, I've always held hate and resentment against you. I mean, yeah. and I'm, I'm a student with straight A's, the best athlete. Everybody knows me where I'm from. I mean, I was that deal. But I have this bad secret, and I got to be that deal out in the streets, but go in the house and sit in the bathroom and cry. You know what's sad. So you're this celebrated athlete. Everybody knows who you are. Yes. And you're holding the secret in mm -hmm. that you don't know who your father is. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss Harms, I want you to respond to your daughter. I'm not sure how well you listened. She's always had a dad. Maybe I'm not, not sure how well you listened. Maybe not her dad at that time. Miss Harms. Yes, Your Honor. I'm not sure how well you listened. Uh, did, you I... hear, did you hear her? Yes. 
But I'm trying to now respond that to, to what she said. It's difficult talking to her because everything's. She acts like she's I'm my mom half the time. I'm giving you your the moment. Way she talks to me. Maybe she choose a better choice of words. Talking to me. What? You know? Because every time. Hold I on. Say, let her respond. Liar. Let her respond. I would just let her ask respond. You, I would just ask responding. you who my See dad what I'm saying? is. I can never get a word in. Who my that's dad why I'm is. Trying to well, help. neither one of you let the other one get a word in, that's and right. that's why we're not getting that's anywhere, right. ladies. I know there is a lot at stake here. And I know this is emotional. Yep. I know yeah. it is. It's hard. Yeah. And, you know, Ms. Harms, you stand here and say, you know, I've told my daughter from the beginning who her father is. She just didn't want to believe me. What's upsetting you right now in this moment? The Ms. fact Harms? that she sits there and lies. What, and what lie is she her. telling? If I didn't raise her, she wouldn't have or be who she is today. You didn't give me to... I, I okay, guess exactly. that's just like pretty much everything <laughs> you have, I've given because you. they took care of themselves. Pretty okay. much everything she has, I've given her. Every time no. I get any new furniture, anything, I give everything to you. That's just you giving me stuff. Any I didn't ask money for you it, though. Ms. Robinson? I, give it to I didn't you. never ask Ms. Robinson. I've always had her back. So she can sit here and lie as long as she wants. But today, Your Honor, the truth will be revealed. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ladies. What I see here is there's so much at stake. Not mm -hmm. just finding out who your father is. Yeah, That's I'm important. My kids but your relationship That's with your mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like you said, we you have, have children. One. That's their grandmother. We don't yes. have one. That's your fault, though. No, it ain't. She getting mad at me. She won't let me see my granddaughter's or my great grandson. You never That's let me see my daddy, you. though. You I never saw knew my grandparents. You're 37 Ooh. years old. I didn't even hear about him until I was 10. What, you act like you couldn't have went? I told you, you always knew who your dad was. Where was I gonna go at 10 Georgia, years old? Marietta. You knew he lived next door. You to, see how she puts to adult stress. Miss Harms, are you suggesting that a 10 year old child was supposed to go around the corner and ring her. the doorbell? She was a baby. I would go there and visit. I would not go miss the long door. He would have saw and me. Take there. her over there every time we went. Every summer. Miss Robinson, do you remember going that. to visit Mr. Long? Never. Mr. Long, do you remember <laughs> Miss Harms bringing Miss Robinson to see you and saying this God is your man. father? No, ma'am. Have you ever seen Miss Robinson? No, ma'am. She says that she came to see me, but I don't recall it. Did I you think you were her minutes. biological father? It was possible because, you know, it was, it was said, and then she sent a picture to my mom of... Like, a year. Oh, can, oh, Your Honor, I've sent... Gave him, Mr. Long, nine photos of her ever since she was growing well, up. Well, that's why, Miss Harms, I want you to allow someone to testify because his testimony was corroborating with your Thank statement you, that you reached out. Thank so, you, see, that's why we on listening station. Thank you, ma'am. I'm listening. Miss, Mr. Long, <laughs> you said she sent you pictures? She sent me a picture <laughs> when she was first born, a year after she So, was when born. she was first born, she sent you a picture. Right. So, why does a woman send you a picture of a baby if she's not saying you the father? Right. I didn't say she didn't say I, was, I wasn't the father. She said I was the father, but I had doubt because, you know, she was supposed to be sleeping with someone else in my family, which was a cousin. In supposedly, the family. Supposedly now. Sorry, and then some more guys in the neighborhood. Supposedly. So, that's where the oh, doubt came in. So, Mr. Long does state that what you said was true. He did receive a picture. Yes, ma'am, but you he left did a whole lot of detail to out, too, Your Honor. What other parts of the details did I he leave out? Eight pictures, and you sitting there acting like you, I never brought that I baby over to I your house every recall, day. I don't recall. Yeah, and you're number the bold faced liar. You it's said you good. brought the baby over to yes, your house. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> every time we went down every summer to visit my grandma and papa. I don't recall that, Judge. Uh, no, because that brain is old. And you would bring the baby... <laughs> hold on, hold on, one at a time. So, you would come see him? Yes, Your and Honor. And his family? Yes, Your Honor. Walk right in the kitchen, they cooking up collard greens and everything. Your Does Honor, your family I... know about Jennifer, Miss Robinson? They've heard oh, of Jennifer. Oh, God, here we go. They've they seen a picture me. of Jennifer. But as far as knowing Jennifer and, and, and conversating with Jennifer, never, they never have. So, you knew she was pregnant? That's crazy. I knew she was pregnant. And then after she had the baby... Afterwards. Did she say you're the father? Right, she did say that. So then, why was there no follow-up? That's what she's been saying this entire day, is that I said Mr. Long was the father. The follow-up was I couldn't contact her. I couldn't... I didn't know her last name anymore. Who knew? You, you never tried to help me find Hold on, so Ms. Harms, I want to understand this from you. 
Why did you disappear? When you were taking the baby, you say you were taking the baby over there and he acknowledges that you at least sent pictures. And, Your Honor... Did you feel rejected? Why did you just rejected. disappear? I kept it like that because my dad was like, me being young, oh, who, who's the dad? I'm gonna kill him. I, and, I, and I kept it to myself. You, as a young girl, you were taking the baby over to his house or you were sending these pictures, but this was all in secret. Yes, ma'am. Because, because you didn't want to tell your... Oh, my God. You didn't want to tell your the family parents... Never told me that I told my, my mother. Dad, I kept it from my dad. Not you didn't all. tell your dad, yes, but you told your mother. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Robinson, you say you've been told various names. You've been given various names, but never... Never. Mr. Long. Long. Well, I've never heard of Mr. Long until I was 10 years old. I walked past her in the kitchen. She looked at my body, <laughs> and she stopped me. She said, Jennifer, I got to tell you something. She said, the way you're looking, the way your body's looking, I gotta tell you that when I was younger, I went to Marietta, Georgia, and I slept with a boy named Anthony Long. She said, your body look like theirs. You look like his sister. Of course, I blew that off, because I look like him, 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 and him. Like so that. from 10 it's, it's years old, Miss Robinson, once you hear this, you said you had been told so many things, at that point, you just blew it off and blew kept off, moving. Because I didn't have a dad anyway. Nobody, all the, everybody claimed me. Did you Mr. think Moore. about Mr. Long? Did I think about him? Yeah, I always wonder. Hmm, I wonder if he does look like me. But of course, I couldn't get any contact. Right. But you said you were caught up in a web because every other man in your life was claiming <laughs> you as something. Yes, Your Honor. She had a father. It may have not been her biological father, but my mom and dad raised him until I got on my feet out Before. of the army, and I came and got you when I was able to take care of you. And nobody really took care and of you. Your Honor, though. may I may I present my evidence? Yes. To you, ma'am, please. Take a breath, Miss Arms. This evidence that you are presenting, Ms. Harms, is yes, picture yes, of your daughter, yes, Ms. Robinson, and Mr. Long. Looking like everybody. I look like all the men. Yeah, to you. Oh, everybody got big eyes. No, ain't that. Yeah, I, that's I mean, it. Ms. Harms, you know, at the end of the old. day, when she doesn't know, she's just looking for herself in every man. She's just looking for herself. Well, Your Honor, she gonna stop. The man today. said, "The man said, I'm your father." She's gonna stop mm. looking today, Your Honor, because you are confident, yes, beyond sir. a shadow of a doubt, that Mr. Long is your daughter's biological yes, Your Honor. father. Mr. Long, after today's testimony, seeing the evidence presented here today, oh, look at that. Do you believe you are Miss Robinson's biological father? It's possible. It's possible. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. When I got the first picture of her. She looked like my daddy to me. So, naturally, I said, well, it could be my daughter. But then I lost contact with her, with the mother. And he looks <laughs> like my grandson. Until today. That's what's blowing me away. <laughs> the ears, the cleft chin, the nose, the lips, <laughs> the head. I mean, it's all I'm there. standing here like... Can I do this? But, of course, I can't believe it, you know, because I, I, I don't deserve anything, so I can't believe that he <laughs> looks like me. I'm here today, Your Honor, to, to make, try to fill that void and hold in her heart so she can be at peace. Because I ain't. And I got a well, lot of Well, if you didn't have you. so much mouth, maybe that somebody could deal with you. do with you. Let me know who my daddy is. Without Girl, you let's just world. stop right there, because you all just alike. You mother and daughter, all right, because yep, both of you sure all, are. you all... I can clap you it. all both got miles on you. You both got to have last words. Right. So that you all are just alike. But the only way we're really <laughs> going to move forward today is to get these results. Mm -hmm. And I have them for you. Jerome? Uh -huh. They Thank come you. out right. I hope so, too, for you. We know that there's a lot at stake. If, it, if not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. I shouldn't have to keep going after Miss Long. I hope. But I'm just gonna do whatever to make you happy. Because I love you. Miss Harms, you just said to your daughter, if not, you're gonna keep going. Do you uh, have a question in your mind as no, to whether? Because you seem sure. Yes, ma'am, I am. Let's get the truth. These results were prepared mm. by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Robinson versus Long, when it comes to 36-year-old Jennifer Robinson, 
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Long, you are her father. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I told you, I'm sorry. Oh. I told you, I love you so much. I can't okay, go and hug your dad. Okay, now you be a hole. You don't have a hole in your heart anymore. Oh, no, no. You're running me a seat, please. I couldn't find it. This is the second. Can your daughter talk to her daddy, please? <laughs> yes. But... Okay, wait. We already know you was right. The now, Miss Robinson, Miss Robinson. Yes. Thank there's you. your daddy. You've been looking for him. Mm -hmm. I don't know how in the world you all still got your places across the aisle. Oh, don't you want to hug oh, your daughter? Oh. <laughs> all right, baby. Yeah, I guess you know. <laughs> right. I can't believe it. I you guess. can go stand with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miss Robinson? Yes, Your Honor. This is a beautiful day for you. It is. I'm so happy for My you. My kids going to be so happy. Do you have daughters? Yes. Yep then that means you want to make sure that your daughters and their daughters mm -hmm. don't repeat this. Yes. I know your mother is over the top, but she loves you very much. Yeah, I've always been over the top. You're... I, oh, I, I can tell. <laughs> she loves you very much. You're very blessed to have your mother and your father here mm -hmm. on this earth to love you. Take mm -hmm. full advantage of it, experience them both, and I'm so happy for you. Thank you. We wish you all the very best of Thank luck. Court so is adjourned. Much. Thank you so much. <laughs>